Leah Remini sat down with two of Danny Masterson's rape accusers for the series finale of Scientology in the Aftermath. The That 70s Show actor has faced accusations of rape from multiple women and is currently being sued by four women who say both he and the Church of Scientology stalked and intimidated them after they filed reports against the actor. This is the first time the women have given a public interview about the actor and their life in the church. The first woman was Chrissy Bixler, who dated Masterson for six years and says that in December of 2001, she blacked out soon after the couple went out for drinks. The next morning, she reportedly asked the actor what had happened since she felt like she was poisoned. Masterson allegedly told her he had sex with her the night before, reportedly admitting that he knew she was unconscious. Bixler claims she reported the assault to the Church of Scientology, but was told it couldn't be rape because they were in a consensual relationship. Bobette Realis, who was an ex-girlfriend of the actor, also spoke to Remini during the special and said she has decided to come forward after seeing the bullying Bixler was facing online, saying, I couldn't be quiet and stand by and allow someone that I know exactly how she's feeling because she actually shared her story a little bit to me, to a point where I was immediately like, there's no way in hell you would know that. That's my story. That's my life. The woman went on to say she felt a bit of guilt for not coming out with the story sooner, saying, you kind of deal with this guilt. If I had been louder or if I hadn't been so scared of what would have happened, maybe I could have protected them, and I didn't, so that's hard. Masterson was fired from the Netflix series The Ranch and dropped by his agency UTA back in 2017 after the LAPD confirmed they were investigating sexual assault allegations against the actor. He denied the allegations at the time and insisted that the sexual encounters were consensual. The disgraced actor has denied all the allegations, saying in part that he looks forward to seeing the women in court because, quote, the public will finally be able to learn the truth and see how I've been railroaded by this woman. And once her lawsuit is thrown out, I intend to sue her and the others who jumped on the bandwagon for the damage they caused me and my family. The two-hour live special of Scientology in the Aftermath, which aired Monday, was filmed in front of a live studio audience of former Scientology members and served as the ending to the Emmy-winning A&E docuseries after three seasons. Remini also spoke to THR about the series coming to an end, saying, We're exposing so much, but we need to do some other things to bring the fight to a different level. The work's not done. Whether it's with A&E or another outlet, we're not going to stop working. For more on the story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.